Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to restore the Windows Photos Viewer on Windows 10 and now updated for Windows 11. There's some slight differences as to how you enable them both, but it's easy to do. Check the video description or the little eye over here to click and click through to get to this page. Right below the video is the link you want right here. We're going to click on that. We're going to get these registry files with download now. Should come down now. Open the file. And we're going to extract all these files to a folder. And there they are. Restore it for all. Restore it for current user. If you're not sure, use that. And you can undo it as well. So I'm going to do all users. And we're going to do that by double clicking it. Click run. Click yes. No, we're not done yet. Click yes. And finally click OK. Now the Windows Photos Viewer is available for you. So now we need to enable it. There are a couple of different ways, depending on whether you're using Windows 10 or 11. Let's start by looking at both 10 and 11, how we're going to get started. That's going to be the Windows key plus S. Press or type in default, and as you do, you'll see default apps pop up. Click on that. Windows 10 is a little different. Windows 10, you're going to scroll down and find photos which we'll do on 11 too, but they're both changed from there. Here's your photos right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. If you want to change everything, go ahead and click on Photos, then click on Windows Photo Viewer. As mentioned, Windows 11 is different. As you click on Photos, you end up with file association types. So if you know what you need to open, for example, JPEG, GIF, we can just make the changes, PNG. So scroll down and find whatever it is you want to change. Let me find it here. There's JPEG, JPG. So we'll click on whichever one you want to change, and we'll choose Windows Photo Viewer. If you don't see Windows Photo Viewer here, scroll down, click on More Apps. Click on Windows Photo Viewer, click on OK, and as you can see, that will now open all my JPEGs. Do that for any of the file formats you want, and you are good to go. Let's take a look here at one more thing. I'm going to save a picture here and show you for the next one. Let's say we'll save this one. And we'll save it on our desktop just to show you how the last one works. Now you can do this for Windows 10 or 11. And that would be to use File Explorer. So we'll open File Explorer. Find a picture you want to open. Where did I put desktop? Right click on it and go to open with and click on Windows Photo Viewer. If you don't see it, click on choose another app and you'll see it then. So this is a nice way to open individual files on a per file basis. Now here's another point so you know. As you can see it wants you to keep using the Photos app so this works the same as what we just did up above just a different way of doing it especially if you don't you're not familiar with the file formats always use this app to open JPEG files. That's optional. So if you check on that, it does the same thing I just showed you how to do above and possibly a little bit quicker. So there you have it. So just go ahead and click on that. Windows Photo Viewer. And then all you got to do is click on OK. OK. And there you have it. Look how fast that pops up. Let's test it. Double click it now because he told it to always use it. There you go. And once again, if you do that format or if you do it in that way through here, you might have to do repeat the steps or go into the same steps I showed you above. So if you say open with paint, as you can see, it didn't give me any kind of option. So that means you're going to have to go back up here into these steps if you change your mind. And again, change the default viewer or the default file type to open what you want. But as you can see, aside from the fact you got to make a couple of quick changes that we just showed you to get it to open, it's really super easy to do. And there you have it, everybody. Bottom right-hand corner is the subscribe button. Click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.